Mark Santa Maria, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog, guys. You see what I did there? I put all the crawling content first, all the actual action content first, and then we'll do the proper unboxing and kind of the overview of the car. So we're gonna look at the car now. The car we're talking about is the new TRX4 Cheyenne 10. It's the high trail edition. Oh man, it looks amazing. Oh, so here it is. It looks so good. Look at the detail. Love these chrome details here. It sits up really high, and the reason why it sits up really high is because this one comes stock with the long travel suspension, the long arm lift kit. It also comes with two two wheels. These are not one nines, these are two twos. These are huge, much bigger than the stock ones. Also, it has, probably my favorite part, the clipless body. You don't have to worry about body clips anymore. Love that design because it makes it so easy to take the body on and off, but here's the car or the truck without the body on. It is your standard TRX4. Uh, this looks like the shorter wheelbase one. I didn't measure it, um, but here it is. Oh, looks so good, so clean. This is before I drove it. Obviously, it probably doesn't look like this now or since the beginning. Never mind. I'm confusing myself. Anyways, here it is, chrome bumpers. So this is a true TRX4, not a TRX4 Sport. And when I say that, what I mean is it does come with the two-speed transmission and it comes with front and rear locking discs. Here's the remote here, uh, your four channel remote. So it has all the full functionalities, uh, but man, this thing looks so sick. And again, my favorite part right here, you just put the body directly on top like so. Get it lined up and just push down. Hear the click, click, and it's good. That body's on there. I love the clipless bodies, they are so freaking awesome. Not only does is it easy to take the body on and off, but it also doesn't have the body post holes. But man, look at how sharp, look at how high 
this truck sits. It's got the chrome pumpkin in the front. Nice chrome grill. I gotta put the headlights on it. I don't have I don't have a light kit for this thing yet. Um, over here on the side, look at that. It's sick. It's like a truck. It's a truck. It's a Cheyenne truck. The bed isn't that deep. The bed is probably it looks like maybe a centimeter and a half deep. So it, it's not anything where you can put stuff in. Here's the back of it. Oh man, that thing looks so freaking good. Uh, turn it on this side. This is actually the side that it was already on. There's the Cheyenne badge right there. Okay, so what it comes with comes of course with a remote and then here is what comes in the bag looks like your tools and it doesn't come with body clips because you don't need body clips but other than that here are the box panels uh, metal gear servo just your typical trx4 stuff but it does have two two wheels and tires right there and it has a clipless body and it has obviously i already said that but anyways there's a difference between the stock trx4 and the high trail edition oh man that's that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, this thing is super freaking high. There are the two colors, the red and the black. I got the black. The red looks really good too though, but oh, the black looks so sinister. Oh my goodness, guys. I just made the most amazing addition to this truck and it matches. Big shout out to David Stevens. He was at the crawl event this past Saturday and he hooked me up with some MSM vlog license plates. I was supposed to put these on my TRD Pro Slash, but I don't, I don't think it has a bumper. So it actually looks way better on here because that black, oh. Looks so good, and yes, of course, I got one on the back. Oh man, that looks so freaking cool. All right, guys, so in regards to how it drives, would it be too cliche for me to tell you it might be my new favorite TRX4? I'm not joking, guys. Whenever I first opened this thing up, it looked really, really top heavy. It was a little high. Typically, what I've seen at crawling events is people run their cars really, really low. I didn't think this was going to do that good, but I was super surprised. It did not, I think it tipped over maybe once or twice uh, at that little rock crawling place that I went to. And it would, if it tipped over, it just kind of tipped over on its side, but it didn't like fall and tumble down the hill. Like it's not top heavy. I guess because it's more of like a truck body, it doesn't have as much weight up top. So it actually handled really, really well. It has so much more ground clearance. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it had enough ground clearance where I rarely high centered. It handled the rocks really, really, really well. I still didn't measure the wheelbase, but I bet you if they had, I don't know, this might be the longer wheelbase, but I bet you if it was a little bit longer with these wheels, it would be absolutely insane. But I really, really, really like the upgrades they did to this thing. Also, since it's higher, and it's got bigger tires. It does pull wheels a little bit more. I think pulling wheels in a crawler is actually really, really cool. I did run it on 3S, so it had a crap ton of power. But man, that thing can run. One thing I will say out of the box, I noticed that there was, and I guess it's just the way they pack it. There was, I guess, flat spots on the tires. So whenever I first brought it out there and still now, whenever I run on the cement, it kind of bounces a little bit. It's like flat spots on tires. With that said, I think if I left it off the like off of its tires all night, they'd probably be gone. Um, that's pretty typical, but it is some, definitely something you noticed whenever you took it out of the box and started driving it around. Overall, big thumbs up for me. I'm really, really excited to see what other bodies are gonna do on this on this 2-2 long travel suspension wheelbase. It changes it up a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.